Everyone knows Street Fighter 2 changed video games, but some people fail to remember just where exactly the series came from. 1987 brought us the original Street Fighter and the most frustrating controls in the entire world! Why is it so frustrating? Because they're so precise. This is definitely not Street Fighter 2 where it's easier to throw a fireball than it is to fart. You have to work your ass off just to throw a fireball, do a hurricane kick, or a dragon punch. And yes, Ryu actually says dragon punch. Seriously, you can try to do a hurricane kick the entire round and it won't work. But when it does, BAM! Did you see that? Freaking two hits and all his life is gone. Definitely not like Street Fighter 2. Remember how cool and original those test your might stages were in Mortal Kombat? Hmm, looks familiar. Speaking of familiar, you're actually going to find a bunch of characters that are in later Street Fighter games like Aiden, or Aidon, whoever you say that, a Scarless Saget, and even Balrog. I mean, well, Mike, who was called Balrog in the States to avoid lawsuits, or you know, ears getting bit off, if you catch my drift. So what do I think is the best thing about the original Street Fighter? No matter who you beat, they'll always say the exact same thing after you kick their ass, even though you can't understand it. Whether you like it or not, Street Fighter 1 is an absolute classic that paved the way for a video game that would later dominate the video game industry. And if you got a chance to play it, I suggest doing so.